Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shutter, Door Shutter, coming back to you with episode 10 of the Direwolf 21.7 mod pack. And today, we are currently over here by the Aura node that uh, we found a little while ago. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to hold right-click to drain this node. Um, we want to be careful not to drain it completely. Uh, looks like we almost have... Okay, it's not going to let me drain anymore, which is good. So, um, I'm going to actually bookmark this. And let's do waypoint, uh, new aura node. Okay. So, the reason we're doing that, of course, is because now, if you can see in the top left, we have Terra and or fire igneous i don't even know what it's called in this but um what is it called igneous i was right um full and what we should be able to do is now get a copper cap uh, let's see i should have the other one in here now we need to find a great wood tree uh because i actually haven't found a great wood tree they're usually not that uncommon uh, but maybe in this version they were uh, so I'm gonna have to fly around, maybe even find a silverwood tree, because basically our goal, if we look here, oh, I guess I can't look at that, uh, is to kind of get a basic, uh, a better wand, right? Uh, I think we actually need a great wood wand for this, but I actually can't remember. Oh, I guess I can do it this way. So I could get a copper-capped wand. Do I want to get a copper-capped wand? It looks like it'd be about the same. Hmm. Maybe I didn't even need to get copper caps. Maybe I needed to get gold. Now let's try getting some scribe tools. I'm probably going to need to get another set of scribe tools here. Let's see. And then paper. I might not have any paper. Alrighty. So let's look at gold. Um, do I want to look at a wand foci? I don't know. Uh, what do we need for this? Missing required research. Uh, we also do, of course, have different things we can look at here. So here's the goggles of revealing. Um, the goggles of revealing are actually going to be quite useful. But actually, we're missing something for it. I did not expect that one. And that completes that. But now, we also do have this. Um, and you see this where it says forbid knowledge, mostly harmless. It's because I believe this version actually had the ability to taint the land or pollute it, basically. And uh, that's a thing. So do be careful. When you get further into Thaumcraft. Uh, gold is a far superior focusing agent than iron. And wands cap with this material take no penalty when using to use the channel V. Copper has similar properties. Iron and used as a wand cap but is efficient as gold. Uh, used to channel Orto. Or okay, so uh, let's see. Gold wand caps are probably where we're at then. See if we can use uh, gold nuggets here. No. Okay, um, we'll probably need to get actual gold, which we should be able to just convert one to one, right? Or do I need to smelt these down? I do need to smelt them down. I forgot about that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, uh, take that out. Throw those in there. Okay. So... We're going to have to do some research. I mean, there's a whole lot of things. Here's even, like, B stuff in here as well. Um, I don't know what this is. Primal Charm. Primal Charm from an important basis for in many thaumaturgic researches. They have no inherent power of their own beyond being able to focus channel primary primal energy and essentia. 
Uh, rumors persist that these charms have additional powers, but that is a little more he hearsay. Okay. Some stuff to look at there. Of course, the Great One Core. Yeah, so this is where your V is stored, basically, is the Great Wood Core. We also have Thaumic Tinkering. Thaumic Tinkering, huh? There's a whole lot of stuff on this one. Computer craft peripherals, smoky quartz, but negative all regular blocks that can be made with quartz can also be made with smoky quartz. Uh, let's see. It looks like, yeah, we've got stuff down there. I don't know what in the world this one is. We have golems. I forgot about golems, actually. Those are pretty cool to mess with. Um... Okay, I mean, yeah, we're we got plenty of things. Enchanted or is yeah, enchanted fabric. We can actually just grab that. Okay. Uh, by combining spider silk and wool, infusing it with primal viz, uh, you have created a silky length of magical cloth, and then you can make. Uh... Oh, these give you V discounts. Okay, so that's not terrible. Okay, so quickly I went ahead and I just researched the Goggles of Revealing. We're going to learn that real quick. Um, this actually gives us a little bit more stuff. The Sinister Lodestone and Arcane Ear. Huh. Uh, but these are actually going to be able to allow you to see, um, like, nodes and stuff without needing this uh, th thermometer thing. But the problem is, is you got to remember that you won't be able to scan things with this. It is purely just so you can see nodes. And it is purely just so you can see nodes and whatever else um, Thomcraft offers in the way of, you know, viewing things. So let's actually grab uh, enough to make two of these real quick here. And of course, these don't require any special table. They are just strictly... Uh, you know, crafted normally. No, these, this one isn't. The, th the thermometer things are thermometers. So let's go out here. Oh, I need leather. Hold on. Leather. And I got the gold. So we hopefully should be able to make this. So gold, gold. Leather, leather. Okay, and this actually gives us a Vis discount as well. Can we apply that in baubles? No. And this bauble slot, maybe? Okay, no we can't. That's okay, but these actually can be combined with Batania stuff? Oh, I did not know that. Also the uh, Blood Magic Armor, okay. So we can, we can combine this with stuff, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, let me... I'm going to do some more research off camera because it's just going to be tedious at the end of the day. Um, and uh, we'll see what we do whenever we get back. I kind of want to go towards research mastery um, and advanced node technology and uh, see where we end up. Okay, so I've got some great wood here and we're going to make a great wood rod. And then we're going to also make uh, two gold caps. I can't click and drag in here. I was just attempting that twice. Two gold caps. Cap, cap, rod. And that'll get us a gold banded great wood wand. That is fantastic. Okay, so I can't remember if there's a way to kind of transfer this stuff. I highly doubt it. Uh, first things first, drop this on the ground. I guess I should have uh, scanned the other stuff. But if we actually fly around here... I want to show you guys something. So you can actually start to see there's actually two aura nodes around here. Uh, there's that one and there's that one. So um, off camera, I did, of course, get great wood. I also went and got silver wood. Uh, I also did a little bit of research. I got node preserver, which basically just allows for one vis, uh, V-I-S, to actually stay in there. Um, I've also got research mastery which is uh, you become more efficient at performing research whenever you're moving aspect that you place in a hex. 
there is a 50% chance you will gain the research point. Additionally, there's a 10% chance whatever you place an aspect that it will not cost any research points to do so. Um, combine aspects and research table by shift clicking the aspect you wish to create. If you have enough of the component, oh, I didn't even actually know that one. I knew the first two, not that one. Um, and then I, of course, worked on getting a focus pouch and also the wand foci, uh, which we're going to have to look at a little bit more in the future here. Because uh, you can actually cast, I believe these are actually like ways you can cast certain spells in a sense. So that's actually going to be pretty cool. So um, now what we can take is the gold banded wand and we can see if we can absorb. Looks like we don't. Oh, there we go. It just took a second. So yeah, you should see everything stay at one. Perfect. And then the other one, which is one I bookmarked or waypointed. But uh, I want to fly around the world real quick and show you guys some interesting stuff as well. So this does hold up to 50 each. So do keep that in mind. So it's going to take a little bit more. And then, of course, if you hold shift, it will actually deplete the entirety of the uh, entirety of it. So be careful. I don't know if we're draining. Oh, there we go. I guess I just had to be closer to it. Okay. Uh, so let's stand closer to this one. Fly a little bit, maybe. Okay. Let's quickly take a little fly around the world. Because I don't think it should be that hard to spot more nodes. Um, and you'll see what I mean here in a second once we find one. We fly a little closer to the ground. Oh, also that. I did see this. We're not doing that. Yeah, so here's one. Real quick. Probably gonna get shot by the skeleton. But, uh, yeah, this is another node. So they are pretty obvious once we get those goggles going. Um, so just so you guys know. Let's see. See if we can find at least... Oh, there's another one. There we go. Looks a little a little finicky, but that's okay. Can we just can we make sure we're full on this? Okay, no. Uh, let's find at least one more. Because, of course, we're going to have to fill this bad boy up. I already know that. But I'm just kind of kind of flying around the world, seeing our where our nodes are. Uh, and then, of course, if we want to, we can get nodes in a jar. Which won't be too, too terrible. Do-do-do... They also can have uh, nodes in silverwood trees as well, which is fantastic. I did find one or two of those. We're going to get this Enderman to follow me. Oh yeah, we can actually look at this obsidian shrine here without the guys in front of it. Because this actually has a node. Oh, actually it looks like there's a uh, Eldritch Guardian. Oh goodness. Okay, I did not know there would be an Eldritch Guardian there. Uh, maybe it's only during nighttime. Yep, I'm gonna die if I keep trying to go after him. Uh, but yeah, there is uh, scary things. Much, much scary things right there. Oop, Enderio head. Okay. Um, and remember, of course, in this version, yes, I can eat, but health doesn't regenerate as quickly as it does for the newer versions, which is kind of the biggest difference with the health bar and hunger bar in this version compared to the newest one, is that it takes a while. <laughs> which, I honestly, I think that's such an improvement with modern Minecraft is the way the health system works. Like originally I was kind of standoffish about it, but playing this version really makes you think, man, I wish we had the older the older one because it is very 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 different than what it uh what it is. So it looks like it goes away by the way, but it does keep at least one in here. So we're not too too worried. Okay. So let's fly back over here, and we'll see about what we can get into now. Alrighty. 
so let's look at this uh, cauldron here. So we're going to place this a little bit away from our stuff, because um, I'm not 100% sure how unstable it is in this version. But we're about to see. So we're going to take a cauldron, smack it with this, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, Crucible is an important tool for Thaumaturge. Uh, it allows him to render physical objects into their components, Essentia, and can recombine it against it, it, again as he wishes. Goodness. The Crucible needs to be placed over a constant source of heat and filled with water. Once the water starts boiling, you simply throw any items you wish into the Crucible and they will be broken down into their component Essentia. If you know the proper formula and mix the Essentia within the Crucible is correct, uh, you can then drop a special item into the Crucible known as a Catalyst. The Catalyst draws Essentia into itself and transforms into a whole new item the Crucible then ejects. Okay. Um... Yeah, so don't leave Essentia within the Crucible for too long. Crafting also uses some of the water within the Crucible, and you'll eventually need to refill it. Essentia with the Crucible is constantly degrading. Okay. So if we wanted to make a balance shard, we'd basically need a few things. That's for sure. That can then become Salus Mundus. Okay. So, I have researched, of course, like the metallur magic metallurgy, metallurgy, which is pretentious, whatever, and iron. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what gives me that. Oh, wait. Yeah, we, we do. If we go here, go here, we look where that is. Um, ender pearls, uh, great wood logs, silver wood logs. Okay, so let's grab some netherrack and a flint and steel. Alrighty, so now what we should be able to do is toss in one of these, one of these. Nope. Okay, how much was it then? Let me make sure. Oh, four. And then this. So, one, two, three, four. One of these. One, two, three, four. One of these. One, two, three, four. One of these. Okay. But yeah, you can see there's going to be an issue, though. Where we're going to run into way too much of the uh, other materials being in here. And breaking it actually does this. Which is never a great thing. Uh, so let's not try that again. I just couldn't remember if that was in this version or not. So let's uh, keep that. Put that back down. Um, but now that we know how to make this. There's some stuff we can look at. Of course there's the Thaumium thom chest plate. I believe this is actually not the best material. I believe we actually can get a better one here in a little while. Um, but we do have like the niter, which is this aluminum, al al uh, this thing. We also have the essentia dilation. Um, we also can start looking at uh, what is it called? Oop! I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Uh, where is it at here? We also have this whole thing we can actually start looking at. The arcane stone, pavings, arcane lamp. So it looks like actually we got a little bit more research stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up here. I know we didn't do too, too much this episode, but uh, next episode I'm going to be doing a lot of research between this episode and next. Uh, of course, we have to do, you know, be careful because we are getting into forbidden knowledge and stuff like that. So... Thank you, stay awesome, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!